Okay, so it's day two of NotCon, and today, well, we are doing a sort of in-room, or more accurately, at-home intro thing. So uh, our outfits today are Drita-inspired. Here is Ko's outfit, sort of, you know, workery. Yep. Ready to get some work done. Yep. I'm gonna attempt to be quiet as much as a German can. Yee. Do it. And I've got an outfit going on that I affectionately refer to as Hipster Italy. Like, I actually first did this outfit for, like, a meetup. Like, do you remember how many years ago it was? A couple. Yeah, like, a couple years ago. A few, maybe. It's, it's nice to bring it back. And also, I'm glad I did it in the first place because it gave me a reason to buy brightly colored pants. And I love wearing brightly colored pants. Today we're gonna head over to Washington Square Mall. We're gonna get some Cheesecake Factory because that's sort of a tradition, especially for Sakura Con. Because, like, you know, the venue is right across from Cheesecake Factory. And then we're gonna walk around the mall for, you know, more vendory type feeling. And then later on, we're gonna be going to Uwajimaya because what's con without getting some stuff from Uwa? Asian food, if y'all don't know what that is. Oh, yeah, it's like an Asian grocery store thing, and they have lots of, like, cool snacks and even a little, like, I don't know if deli would be the right word. And a bookstore with a lot of anime merch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it has, you know, a lot of stuff, and they usually have little booths at uh, the conventions that we go to. So, yee. Let's go do the thing. All right, so we made it to Cheesecake Factory and we're splitting the herb crusted salmon because it's pretty much our like Sakura Khan standard more often than not because it's super tasty and it comes with asparagus and I love asparagus and the mashed potatoes are really good and it has like this really nice lemon sauce. Yeah, so yeah, it's, it's super tasty. I do recommend it. We already split everything up, but when it comes to you, like, the asparagus is all splayed out like fingers on a ham. It's fun. Even though there's Cheesecake Factory, we haven't gotten Cheesecake yet. We'll see that later. Yeah, you'll see that later. We'll come back with that beautiful cheesecake footage. It's so beautiful. Look at it. Oh. Yeah, so you can see all of it. Like, this is the s'mores galore. That's why it has like the graham crackers and like that's marshmallow stuff and it's all like burnt on the outside so you get some of that flavor going on. We've had it before. It's tasty and we're excited like, to eat it now. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. kind of like we were there for time as like seeing the Yeah, we were a uh, 2P Germany and 2P Italy and we went to a uh, cheesecake factory at Sakura. at Sakura Con and we like didn't we also share a slice then? Maybe, or we did we? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we're gonna eat this. We're, we're gonna through. eat it. <laughs> yes. yes. Alright, we finished our food, so now it's time for more mall adventure. It's a nice mall. We came into Lush, so of course we have to vlog because that's what you do when you're a vlogger and you're near a Lush. I would love to be more of a Lush person. Honestly, I'd just love to be more of like a skincare, sort of like non makeup glamour type person slightly tempted to buy one of these robots because a they're like the cheapest bath bomb here i'm pretty sure and b like we think that these might be the ones that like uh there was a post on tumblr a little while back that like there was some lush bath bomb that pretty much turns your bath into like 90s anime water and we think it might have been this or maybe another one called big blue it looks like cheese i love it I like, I'm so curious about this one because it's like the so fluffy it's like cotton candy and vivid pink and waters. pink waters. If only I came here today as all of them. Strong Germans can enjoy pink bath waters and cotton candy. Yeah. Don't touch me. So, yeah. Yes, we did. That was, that was nice. It was an interesting experiment. Because this part right here, it like comes out, just kind of floats around the tub, but it also feels like really slimy. Yeah, it's a and little... It's fun to poke, though. Yeah, it's a little rosebud thing, and when it sits in the bath, like you said, it gets all slimy and weird. It's like a gummy. Yeah, that's exactly what it feels like, a gummy. But, I mean, it smells nice. Yeah. So that's good. I'm going to have glitter all over me by the time this is done. You sure are. So... And then sparkle Oh, yes, I get all my sparkles from <laughs> Vintage Italia memes. 
never forget German sparkle party. I'm still bombarded with those. Are you kidding? Really? It's not vintage. It's still here. That's the thing. I get all the Germany jokes. Oh yeah, that's and right. No, no one ever tries to update them, so there's no. like not a lot of new ones. Aww. So it's just still a sparkle party going to. Deutsche Marks. <laughs> Arby's, that's it. If you ever want to just embrace the people's, you know, give the people what they want, I'm always up for bringing out Austria's party pants, finding ourselves a Prussia, and doing German Sparkle Party Trio. You would feel like a rave or something. Yeah, if I liked raves. Same. I don't really like raves. Like, I went to a rave once, like, I had to sit down because, I don't know, I was just overstimulated, I guess. Oh, this one. Yeah. The anime is 91. Huh. Yeah, it's pretty subtle. Which, I mean, makes sense. Yeah. It's for kids. Yeah, let's grab one. So, yeah, we're gonna buy this and move on. Okay, we came into this, like, super cute candy store because it's adorable, and, like, for a while now, Joe has been craving, uh, like, a peanut butter chocolate bunny. So, we might be able to find one in here. And also, look... Look, look at macarons. They're adorable. Oh, oh, I love luxury chocolate stores so much. Oh, it's cotton candy. It's gourmet cotton candy. Pineapple. Cookie butter. Oh, neat. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's like cream soda, butterscotch, and something. Honestly, I slightly want to work here just because their uniforms are adorable. Look at this crispy oh. cakes. Oh, crispy cakes. Oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah, we just got a fantastic tour by one of the uh, people working here. It was so great. Uh, so, yeah, if you're ever in, like, Washington Square Mall and you see, like, the place called Lolly and Pops. Or even just in general. If yeah, or, or if you see a Lolly and Pops, because I don't know if... <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know if there are, you know, other locations of this place, but like, Probably. yeah, the service is fantastic. They have like all kinds of cool, to not cool toys, cool candies from like, you know, all over the world and stuff and like lots of luxury stuff they make in house. And there's the Asian section. Yeah, like, let's go look because again, an, an animu replacement. Check the shoes. Oh, cool. <gasps> and, and and do it yourself candies. Uh, uh I love oh mama goma. Oh oh I'm so glad we came in here. Oh it's those things, yeah. And ooh. Japanese. You make your own uh, yeah. Oh yeah, it's those like Japanese bubblicious. I love bubblicious. Yeah. And haichu can't go wrong about haichu. Oh, it's the little donut maker thing. Oh, yeah. 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 Eat. <gasps> Candy cigarettes. Those are rare as hell. Lucky lights. I'm pretty sure I still... Well, I, don't, I have these. I don't know if I have that box anymore. I might have, like, lost it or broke it. I used this for Shizuo. Yeah, and I planned on carrying that around as Luchi, because Lucky <laughs> Luchi. Well, now you know where to get it next time. Yeah. Hey, the lollipops with bugs inside them. Shrieks. <laughs> oh, I love the music in here. Gummy jalapenos. Oh my god. Cows, pigs, jets. I feel like I need to buy something in here because, like, we had the too. employee give us a tour and that's always the worst thing because it's like when he asked i was like yes i want to know more about this wonderful place but then once you do that you're like i just made that employee do a lot of stuff so i should buy something oh yeah i've had milk and chocolate before it's like it's milk chocolate it's it's good as far as milk chocolate goes but i'm not a huge milk chocolate fan and uh digi gave me these for my birthday oh yeah yeah good to know i know where to find it holland Nice. Swedish ginger snaps. Huh. I'm in such a good mood. Yeah. This this place just puts you in a good mood. Like I love stores like this that just have such a great atmosphere in them. Is there anything else we need to look at in the video? I don't think so. Like yeah. I think we've got everything we need. Okay. So yeah, let's just buy the things we want and call it done here. Uh, I don't. <laughs> I realize we've done no accents. 
Yeah, that's that's a good point. We haven't really done a lot of accent stuff today. Mostly we mostly just being ourselves today. Yeah, we haven't really had any opportunities to. And we went to a couple more stores, but we didn't film in them. We went to the Lego store, and they didn't have any Lego movie merchandise anymore, which is sad because I love I love everything. You want to be you want to be business. I do. I do really want to cosplay Lord Business, even though it would be. Yeah, it would be difficult and under-recognized, but it would still be fun. So we're probably just going to wrap it up here and head over to Uwa. Oh, oh, show them right, right, right. We did buy a couple of things, though, when we were in that uh, really bought, fancy candy uh, shop. Japanese great bubble gum. Delicious. Bubble delicious, that's it. Yeah, and I bought like a little DIY Gudetama pudding candy thing, and I will do a separate video showing me making that. And like, I was gonna buy a yaoi, a squish yaoi, because <laughs> what's going without yaoi, but it was like $4 dollars and I was like, oh. Yeah, exactly. Like, it would have been a good joke, because what's an anime convention without some yaoi, but... Not $4. Dollars yeah, worth. not $4 dollars worth of a joke. <laughs> yeah, if you want to see a video about yaois, go watch Ashen's little thing. <laughs> but, okay. Yeah, let's head to First stop at Ua is always the bookstore with, like, Lots of merch and things. There's one Italia. Yeah, like, one Italia. Yes. Two Italia things. What's that? Um, if they, whatever they are. Yeah. Some sort of program. Oh, there's a clearer picture up here. Oh. Yeah, I still don't know what that is. Yeah. They had yeah. sailors here before. Oh, oh it's uh, these oh. ones, so three and four. four. Yes. He had little crouching ones. I love the crouching keychains. He was like, ah, stop touching, and then rushes. Oh, no, right. Yeah. He looks like he's gonna pull his hair off. <laughs> and Gakuen and, and the Gakuen designs. Well, I mean, it's not not so much Gakuen design so much as it seems they got just the like insignia or I guess school. Yeah, it's general school because like, see, Japan is in like a normal uh -huh. Japanese school uniform. Hey, more crouching things. Yeah, this is. Like, I didn't see this here before. Yeah. Like, it's good that they're getting more things. So that's five Italia Fred. things. Free. Not actually. No. Why do you yell, my sweet child? Is it because of Haru? <laughs> Dreaming banana. I like it. B B B ben, oh. what are you doing? Ben? Oh, cool. Yeah, like I have the first two volumes of the no, Sherlock no, manga, something. which I've heard is getting an English adaptation, so excited to see that. Well, I found this one. Hey, uh, there is my boy. Well, one of my boys. This is number three. He has hey. a gun. He does have a gun. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, and that's just and straight up orange. Just tucked into his pocket. Yeah, his tie is in his pocket. Romano, what are you doing? And the. Are you upset because Italy stole your shirt? The guy to World War One. Nice. It's time for World War One. <laughs> now I just have history of Japan stuck in my head. It's in the Yes, it's true. Still need to watch that. Same. And we and Haikyuu. We just need to marathon a bunch of sports anime. Yes. Oh, hey. They have the, the mini plushes here. Oh. It's big. It's so big. I want it. Those are cute. Hey. 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 Beautiful. Hey. Yeah. There you are. And these are boys. Yeah, there's we our boys. These. We we do. We do have this uh, magazine just because... It has uh, all the micro Yeah, aside from the cover, yeah, it has like a bunch of uh, line art and stuff for micronations Which and we things. Need for, like, and just our lives because the micronations are great. We want to make a micronation group so much. I want to be Kugel Moogle. I want to be the art child. Hey, more of that. More of that loveliness. Yes. Nice. Gun. <laughs> hey, always good to see more OG representation. Yeah, in this one has like a Lolita. lot of like OG colors. Like, is, is, this, go back. is this Gothic Lolita Bible? Oh, wait, my mouth. Yes. Yeah, Gothic Lolita Bible. Yeah, we, we want to do OG Lolita combos. Like, if you guys could do like some sweet stuff, I would love to bring sweet OG more into 
the forefront because like gothic and classic OG are fun, but w where is them pastels? Okay. All right, now time for real food shopping. Like, there is one brand of curry mix that, like, if I can find it, I want to buy it. Like, it's Vermont. I've heard that that's, like, good Vermont. and sweet. Yes, Vermont curry. Let's see, there's medium hot and mild and hot. Hmm. Should I get mild I or medium? Mild. Yeah, because I don't. Yeah, because I don't actually know. Maybe I'll make a video about me making curry. That'd be fun. Let's see, uh, oh yeah, there's the tonkatsu ramen that we really this like. This one is also, let me show it to the camera, huh. this one's also sold at cons, so, like. Yeah, yeah, they usually have these at the, uh, Ua, booth. Ua booths at conventions. Oh, and it's on sale today. Oh, it's those bacon ones! What is it, though? They're, they're Kit Kats that are specifically made so that you bake them in your oven for a little bit, and then they're even tastier. What what are they? They're a potato snack. Okay, like are they sticks? Are they? I don't like, know. Oh, okay. Like I have a friend in Japan who really loves it. Crunky, Cr crunky, Cr crunchy, chunky. Maybe. Look, it's stumps. <gasps> stumps. Oh, it's cute. It's stumps and that. Oh, it's those things. And I know the chocolate mushrooms are out here somewhere. <laughs> Aw, someone ate all the pixie mandarins. Ooh, bread. Let's see. Sure. Yep, that's white bread. Looking at I grabbed a piece of the white bread. It's white bread. Like, do you remember where the yakisoba sandwich was? It was right over here. Like, do you think they're, like, sold out or something, or just not selling them today, or...? I don't think they're selling them today. Oh, that's sad. That's sad. I wanted to try one. Yeah, Kill wanted to try a yakisoba sandwich, but I guess they don't have them here today. Drinks. Drinks. All of the drinks. Yeah, all that ramen, eh? Yep. There's, like, more that way. Yes. Just mogu mogu! Mogu mogu. Yeah, mango's my favorite. And um, strawberry's my favorite. I'll grab one right now. Okay. All these, like, jelly drinks in bags. I've kind of always wanted to try one, but they look weird at the same time. So many pretty cakes, colorful cakes. Guava. Oh, guava cake. Oh. This one is rainbow, rainbow. cake. It, it looks like yours. <laughs> if you switch the bottom and that be you, I would eat you. Then again, that, that's nothing. Enough? I wasn't expecting you to bring it up in public, though. I mean, nope. Cake, cake does enough. cake does bring out your hidden side though. <laughs> Let's see, we have uh, that stuff in our basket. I know you're gonna get a steam bun. Yes. Would you wanna get in line for that? I could. Because like I don't think there's much else to do. No, I think we've done everything we're gonna do. Yeah. So yeah, like, I think we've done all we want to do, so let's, uh, like, just get things, hot get food and pay for our stuff and head home. Okay. Okay, we're back home from shopping, so... <laughs> Sorry! It's okay. Yeah, let's see what we bought from Ula. We got this for me. It's, a uh, uh, red barbecue pork steam bun. It's tasty. Look at that goodness. Okay, so next up we got ramen. Yeah, two, two ramen. of these super big ramen tonkatsu. tonkatsu things. They're tasty. Yeah, these are tasty. Highly recommend. Here's the Vermont curry roux that I bought. So yeah, at some point I'll need to pick up some beef and potatoes and onions and carrots and make this, and maybe I'll do a video about it. That could be fun. It'll be tasty. Yeah, hopefully it'll be tasty, because <laughs> I really like Japanese curry, so I hope that I can make this taste good, because I know that a lot of, you know, curry making comes down to things that you add to make it tasty to you. I know some people like to add cheese to curry. I might try that, because I like cheese. And, uh, this, uh, something you didn't see us pick up. Yeah, like, we finally get to reveal Kyo's dinner. Well, that's part of it. And 
the other part I is... gave it. <laughs> yep. Chicken katsu sandwich. And then you have the other bag. And, the yes, bag. our cold bag. I can take care of that. So we have... an American Sodi Pop. For me. Malona Bar, which we really need to put into the freezer. And we got Mogu. Yeah. And Mogu. Why oh, don't you tell Mogu. them about what Mogu actually is? Yeah, you put... Well, I put this in the freezer. Mogu Mogu is a really cool drink because it's like, you know, juice and stuff. But in the juice and stuff are little chunks of uh, nata de coco. There it is. And what that is basically, if I remember correctly, it's like a fermented coconut jelly. It's got a consistency somewhere between um, jello and gummy, like m yeah. more close to jello than gummy. And it just picks up the flavor of whatever is it in. So, like, the mango mogu mogu, the jelly bits are gonna taste mango y. And the strawberry, the jelly bits are gonna taste strawberry ish. So, yeah, it's just imagine drinking stuff and it's got tiny bits of slightly more firm than usual jello in it. It's tasty. Yep. And it's mogu mogu because it's like choo choo. Yeah. Because you, you gotta chew when you drink it. And just to wrap it up so we can see what else we got the oh, day. Oh, yeah, like, because we didn't really do uh, close up things on the stuff we bought at Lolly and Pops. This is the uh, Gudetama pudding thing. Like, I'm gonna need to find a tutorial online. And then I got, I already showed it before, but here's a close up. It was either this or fruit punch, and I'm iffy when it comes to grape because I had a really weird tasting grape, like, liquid to um, liquid to bubblegum thing, so it'll be interesting. So yeah, that's everything we bought today, and my battery is getting super low, so uh, yeah. Let's uh, call it a day, and <laughs> love you too, hun bun. So, damn <laughs> on <laughs> So yeah, that's day two, so we'll come at you with day three tomorrow. Yay! Yay!